Elon Musk announces Grok 4 while gaming. OpenAI promises never to forget about you. Freepik gets a video editor. Pika Twists allows you to bend reality. And before the robots fight us, we get to watch them fight each other. Here's today's AI news. As Elon Musk was live streaming Path of Exile 2 on Starlink, he casually revealed the Grok roadmap for 2025. He said that Grok 3.5 would be soonish and would have some major upgrades and then Grok 4 would be coming out later this year. Grok 3 has become a favorite model for a lot of people, so there will be a lot of hype for both of these releases. OpenAI has announced the Moonshine memory feature, which will allow ChatGPT to reference all the previous chats that the user has had. This should lead to far more personalized responses, and Sam Altman noted this as an important step toward AI systems that are deeply integrated into users' lives. Users can, of course, opt out of this memory feature, but does an AI ever really forget? Freepik announced that they have added a new video editor into their AI suite, allowing users to create videos and then stitch them together all within the same workspace. It's extremely common that users have to produce a string of short videos with an AI video generation tool and then switch to a video editor to put them all together. So for basic needs, this will be a huge time saver for Freepik users. Pika Labs has introduced Pika Twists a new feature that lets users manipulate specific characters or objects in videos while keeping the rest of the footage unchanged. We had a preview of this a few weeks back, so it will be very cool to get our hands on this and have a play around. It's a relatively simple concept that's likely to be very powerful for storytelling. And finally, Unitree Robotics has announced a groundbreaking event where their humanoid robot, the Unitree G1, will participate in live-streamed robot boxing matches. We had to double-check that this wasn't still April 1st, but it seems that this is genuine, and the physical robot wars are about to commence. Even in its infancy, it looks pretty fun, but with the progression that we're likely to see in the next six months, this could turn into a huge sport. We better hope these robots forgive us for this.